So dynamic glass has to be wired in a low voltage network. And this is different than what the glazing industry is used to today. So VIEW has innovated in this area as well, which is making, minimizing the amount of wiring that needs to be installed from a labor and cost perspective and making it foolproof, yet still giving it the full functionality uh, of being able to reprogram zones later without actually having to do hardware changes. So what we've done is we've come up with an architecture that is very similar to an ethernet network that we connect computers with. And what that means is there's power and communication going over one line. So this is a 24 volt line that runs in the drop ceiling, for instance, uh, in a commercial building. And then we drop window configurations off of that. So it's very simple. It minimizes the wiring. We use dust and waterproof pre-terminated connectors. So connections don't get messed up during installation, making it very easy for the installers or low voltage pullers. And then what happens here is you have pigtails that come out of the insulated glass unit or out of the, the window unit. They can get pulled together into one line. They connect to what's called a uh, window controller made by VIEW that controls the voltage algorithm that makes all this magic tint occur on the glass. And then that comes into the common trunk line, as we call it, that runs the perimeter of the building. So minimizes wiring, minimizes labor and installation costs, and make sure that you have a foolproof installation that can always be reprogrammed later in terms of zones. And speaking to the contract laser specifically who will be putting in this product, do is this something they can do themselves? Do they need to bring in an electrician? How does that work? They can. So it depending on what they're comfortable with, they can do it themselves. We just did an install here locally in Colorado where all this was pulled through existing framing in a retrofit and installed fully functional. Uh, other larger commercial buildings will often have a, vo a low voltage uh, subcontractor that's on the entire job. So the glazer might do the window installation, often uh, a, a factory glazed, pulling out the pigtail unit and then install the window and then a low voltage sub may come back and do that full installation. Either way can go and we're doing it both ways in, in real projects.